Mr. President, thank you for sitting down with us. There's a lot to talk about. I'd like to start with the horrible events of last weekend. It has shocked a lot of Americans. A political rally, your opponent, Donald Trump, uh, shot uh, in the middle of greeting his, his supporters. Um, you spoke to Mr. Trump afterward. Can you give me a, a sense of that conversation? Very cordial. I told him how concerned I was and wanted to make sure I knew how he was actually doing. <clears throat> he sounded good. He said he was fine. And he thanked me for calling him. I told him he was literally in the prayers of Jill and me. And I hope his whole family was weathering this. Well, let's talk about the conversation this has started. And it's really about language, what we say out loud and the consequences of those. You called your opponent an existential threat uh, on a call a week ago. You said it's time to put Trump in the bullseye. There's some dispute about the, the context, but I think you appreciate I didn't say crosshairs. I was talking about focus on it. Look, the truth of the matter was, what I guess I was talking about at the time was, there was very little focus on Trump's uh, agenda. Yeah, the term was bullseye. It was, a, it was a mistake to use the word. I didn't, I didn't say crosshairs. I meant bullseye. I meant focus on him. Focus on what he's doing. Focus on, on, his, on his policies. Focus on the number of lies he told in the debate. Focus. I mean, there's, there's a whole range of things. That, look, I'm not the guy that said, I want to be a dictator on day one. I'm not the guy that refused to accept the outcome of the election. I'm not the guy who said that one accept the outcome of this election automatically. You can't only love your country when you win. Mr. President, you've been in politics a very long time, so let, let's speak frankly. We're all adults here. Has this shooting changed the trajectory of this race? I don't know, and you don't know either. I don't know, no, but, but no, have you I, something I, you've given thought to? No, I. I've thought less about the trajectory of the case than two things. One, what his health is, that that was secure, number one. And number two, what happens from here on in terms of the kind of coverage that the president and vice president and, his, and former president and new vice president get in terms of, look, I've never seen a circumstance where you ride through certain rural areas of the country People have signs there, stand, big Trump signs with a middle sign saying F Biden and a little kid standing there putting up his middle finger. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that is just inflammatory and a kind of viciousness. It's a very different thing than to say, look, I really disagree with Trump's the way he takes care of taxes, the way he has, wants a $5 trillion tax cut for people who are making a lot of money next time around doesn't focus on working class people. And I asked him about his struggle in the debate and the calls from some Democrats for him to step aside. Do you feel like you've weathered the storm on, on this issue of whether you should be on the ticket or not? Look, 14 million people voted for me to be the nominee in the Democratic Party, okay? I listen to them. In your last TV interview, you were asked if you had watched the debate. Your answer was, I don't think so, no. Have you since seen it? I've seen pieces of it. I've not watched the whole debate. The president also responding to news of Donald Trump's new vice presidential pick. I want to ask you about, uh, just shortly before you and I sat down, former President Trump named his vice presidential pick, J.D. Vance. What does that tell you, uh, his qualities, what does that tell you about uh, former President Trump's values in terms of who he will surround himself with in a next administration should he win? Well, it's not unusual. He's going to surround himself with people who agree with, completely with him, have a voting record, like support him. Even though if you go back and listen to those things that J.D. Vance said about Trump. <laughs>